what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise news welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video where we have the new ford tourneo carrier debuting with active trim ice and ev options now ford took off the reps of the all-new tourneo carrier and its fully electric sibling the e tourneo carrier now, the new models will go on sale in europe in 2023 and 2024 respectively offering modern technology and clever practicality features now the passenger variant of the ford transit carrier small lcv were shown in the active trim featuring a number of SUV inspired styling cues. And for those not familiar with Ford's naming strategy, the Transit moniker is used for the LCVs, while the Tornio is for the equivalent minivans. Now the Carrier is the smallest member of the range, sliding under the Compact Connect and the midsize Custom, and the full-size Transit. Now like its predecessor, which was introduced in 2014, the second-gen Transit Tornio Carrier is sharing its underpinnings with the discontinued Fiesta Super Mini and the Puma B SUV, a belt in a evolved form that supports both petrol and the newly introduced fully electric powertrain. Now, the exterior design for the new Ford Tornillo Carrier is certainly boxier and a lot more serious looking compared to its cute predecessor. The tough face has vertically mounted headlights similar to the F-Series trucks flaking the large grille. Now the E-Tornier is distinguished by the fully covered grille featuring a chrome diamond pattern and the full width LED bar for the DRLs. Now as pictured in the active trim, a dose of plastic cladding on the bumpers, wheel arches, and side sills along a pair of roof rails and a set of 17-inch alloy wheels are present. And the black pillars create a floating roof effect, especially in the dual-tone configurations. Now if you squint your eyes, you might be able to see cues from the Land Rover Defender, with Ford's designers going for a no-nonsense character for the smallest member of their minivan range. Now inside the Tornillo Carrier comes standard with an 8-inch touchscreen for the Sync 4 infotainment system, while the eTornio swaps out a more impressive 12-inch unit, which is better integrated with the larger 12-inch digital instrument cluster. Now, in both ways, the system is compatible with over-the-air updates, dual wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a built-in modem. And there is also the comprehensive suite of ADAS, especially if you choose the optional driver assistance package. Now, the highlight of the LCV-derived minivan is spacious with its cabin and practicality. Ford says that the new e Tornio Carrier offers improved shoulder room and headroom, plus a 44% larger boot compared to the previous generation. More specifically, with all five seats up, the cargo space has a VDA volume of 570 liters, 20 cubic feet, which can grow up to 2,162 liters and 76.4 cubic feet if you fold the 60-40 split rear bench and load it up to the roof. Now, other cool features include the configurable center console with removable elements, the hidden boot cubby, and the 44 liter 1.6 cubic feet frunk, which is specific to the EV. Now, in terms of towing capabilities, the e Tornio Carrier can haul up to 700 kilograms, 1,543 pounds, while the petrol gas Tornio Carrier takes it to 1,000 kilograms, 2,204 pounds. Now, the Tornio Carrier will be initially available with a turbocharged 1 liter EcoBoost 3 cylinder petrol engine, which produces 123 horses, 92 kilowatts, 125 PS, and the mill can be matted to either a 6 speed manual or a 7 speed dual clutch automatic. Now, both send power to the front axle, just like in the closely related Ford Puma. And similar to the e Transit Carrier that was shown in April, the e Tornio Carrier comes with a fitted single electric motor producing 134 horsepower, 100 kilowatts, 136 PS, and allowing a top speed of 145 kilometers, 90 miles per hour. Now, the driver has access to the normal, eco, and slippery modes, but Ford didn't reveal about the capacity of the battery or the electric range of the model. However, it's said that the full charge takes about 5.7 hours from an 11 kilowatt AC plug. But using a 100 kilowatt DC fast charger, the battery can go from 10 to 80 percent in less than 35 minutes, replenishing 87 kilometers, 54 miles of range in 10 minutes. And a combustion engine for Tornio Carrier will enter production in 2023, with the order books opening in Europe this summer. Now, those interested in the fully electric e Tornio Carrier will have to wait as a production will commence in Romania in the second half of 2024, next to the mechanically related Puma. Ford has pledged to go EV only in Europe by 2035 in line with the forthcoming regulations in the region after it introduces 10 new EV offerings. So with that said, what do you guys think about the new Ford Tornio and e Tornio Carrier? Drop those comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll have a bigger discussion on the new Tornio. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. Grab a one-time link donation from my PayPal, my Cash App, 
my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love you guys show. Helps keep the channel going. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch and the social media links down in the description below. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in Ron's Rise News video. Peace.